okay in this video I'm going to show you how to use a drive column let's go and start up a new project and let's call it drive column click OK and let's go to solution explorer use the let's rename it I will rename it to the word to the package name as drive column let's select it go let's go and drag the data flow task double click it once you double click it it goes I will go and select the OLAVD resource of course I have to select the new I'll go to Northwind and in the table I will select the employees I just see the preview the data so far so good columns I do not want every one of them I will only select a few of them so I will just knock down whatever I do not want because this is just for uh, in the real situation I will not be knocking up the columns like that now that being done as you can see what happens is basically ok I have selected these columns click ok now I will drag the drive column here I want the as you can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to have a column known as age and I will go and get the I will use the data linear function here and I'll get the date minus because I'm going getting the date of the current that will get date gets the current date and the year will extract the year and let's see the again let's say the year and this time I'm going to select the board date and that's done and let's select one more that is current year so I will go and select the year and I will select the date date and I will select one more I will try to create one more drive column and that would be years worked and this time I will drop again the gate debt uh, and I will minus it with the year this time I will say higher date and I will click OK and I will bring the normally this would be going the data would be going to some destination or I'm going to take it to the union all just because this is for the video purpose and nothing else and I will run it and as you can see your work is 22 for the first person age is 66 current year is to 0 0.4 that's it Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.